Hello everyone, welcome to another My Tourette's Life, or welcome in if you are new. This is just a peek into my life with Tourette Syndrome, and today we're gonna do some fun little things. I probably won't vlog a huge amount because I am actually going to a, what is it called? Like a dress shopping, like a wedding dress shopping experience <laughs> for my friend who's getting married. One of my very, very dear friends since like very early childhood is getting married shout out Brett. I'm not gonna vlog that so but I'll be vlogging tomorrow and throughout the week so um yeah but let's go have a little bit of fun today before I go have like mounds of fun doing Brett's dress shopping. I don't know what it's called I guess it's just like dress shopping but yeah <laughs> all right let's go. We don't know this is temporary maybe we'll last to January the lost control when you call me baby Golden that road, you know you're coming with me. But I chase rainy days. Oh, I love the way it's it is Sunday. Um <laughs> yesterday I went to the wedding dress shopping and I didn't vlog there like at all because I wanted all of my focus to be on my friend. But yeah, um before going to the wedding dress shopping, I knew I had to drive like 35 minutes to it. And I was actually a tad bit worried because um, as you saw yesterday, we went to a coffee shop and at the coffee shop, one of my eye ticks was really acting up. Like it was pretty severe to the point where I was seeing stars. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> this could not happen when I have to drive 35 minutes. Like this cannot be being bad. So I just kind of like did this whole technique where I just like distract myself and like don't think about it. Like I was gonna vlog about it. I was gonna talk about my like, worries about it and I was like okay I'll wait to vlog about this tomorrow because <laughs> that's the thing with Tourette. like if you talk about certain tics um they said they tend to happen more so I made sure I didn't vlog about it yesterday um I was like okay I'll leave that to Sunday <laughs> yeah so thankfully I was able to make the drive to the like wedding dress boutique and um and everything was all good and well but like I was so worried that my that my eye tick was going to mess up the day for me. And that's just the thing with Tourette's is sometimes like one single tick can be in the way of your whole day, your like entire day. So really cool. Um, <laughs> sarcasm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, today we're going to do some fun things. So come along. <laughs> Tuesday. Um, sorry if you hear my upstairs neighbor, they stomp literally constantly. Um, <laughs> I wanted to mention a little topic because of how I mentioned the other day about like how a tick can ruin like your whole day. I think a lot of people know that ticks, like tick levels can vary by person. Um, like one person can have really high levels of tick frequencies and another person can have like lower levels of tick frequencies. But I would, but what I think that a lot of people don't know <laughs> is that even in one person, um, ticks wax and wane, and that one person can have different tick frequencies like day by day, week by week, month by month, <coughs> um, because ticks, <coughs> one of their like biggest traits is that they wax and wane, which means um, the frequencies go up and down, like the severity levels go up and down all the time. So even though the other day, like I thought one of my ticks was gonna ruin my day, um, today I'm having a really fine tick day. Like none of my ticks are ruining my day, at least not yet. <laughs> I just thought that would be like a good topic to insert in here. Yeah, so there you go. You learned something new. And if you already knew that, there's a good refresher. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, folks, something really exciting is about to happen. Um, Tyler and I are about to go to the mailbox to get our rice cooker that we ordered yesterday. 
Um, we have not had a rice cooker in this apartment or the last apartment that we lived in. <laughs> so, very exciting. Let's do it! This is not the rice cooker, but you know, it's something else. <laughs> this looks like it could be a rice cooker. I don't know what to tell me it's a rice cooker, but it looks like it could be a rice cooker. Yeah! <laughs> Time for the rice cooker unboxing. It's pink. <laughs> it's really cute. All right, let's unbox this mother trucker. Hello, foodie. That's us, Tyler. That's us, that's us. <laughs> What's this thing? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, we've got a very tiny lid. It's it's a very small rice cooker, if you haven't noticed yet. Um, it's very small. Then this, I think this is what holds the rice. And the hot mama jama. The actual rice cooker part. Oh, it's adorable. I like how you look like a parent in a cartoon because your face isn't showing. <laughs> cool, that's the rice cooker. It is Wednesday and you know what else that means. Um, it means we're going to Ikea <coughs> to get me a new office chair, which is <coughs> a long time coming <coughs> um, because I've been working from home for four and a half months or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> And my chair is $50 from Office Max. It is not a good chair. <coughs> so it's time. It's time for a new one. Very exciting. Let's let's hit the hit the open road and, and get to IKEA. Let's go. The look of on your face. We both know this is temporary. Maybe we'll last to February. I lost control when you call me. If I go down this road, you know you're coming with me. Yeah? Oh yeah, Tyler? <laughs> Just gaming. Alrighty, here she is, my new chair. Beautiful, wonderful. I didn't put the arms on because I didn't want to feel restricted. <coughs> but I think it's a wonderful chair. I've used it for like two days now. Very good. And that is it for this week. Um, subscribe, please. Um, and keep advocating for Tourette syndrome. And thanks, Twitches. Bye!